see it's 52 degrees. We've had on and off rain here in the capital city all day long as Damon Foncham will kick it deep to Napoleon Maxwell. It's a right tackle position. The Panthers having to start a backup. And pressure coming from that area, but Morgan able to get it off over the middle, but short of the first down to Austin Malone. And two will be back. I want to go get a chance. And he's got it on the field on a third and six. Hatcher on the move will throw to Murray, and Murray's effort will put him near a first down. A third down to maintain possession. Both teams struggling on this down all season, but this time the Red Wolves converted across the middle of the field of the 45. It's Bayless on third down on this drive. By you bringing pressure. Hatcher escapes it. First down run inside the 35, sliding down near the 32. It's a pickup of 23 for the redshirt freshman to, in, to Middle Tennessee. Hatcher throws another dart to Bayless. That's right at the sticks. Amelia Bowl, and this is Arkansas State driving on their first offensive possession against FIU here on a second and 10 inside the 25. And it's Jamal Jones getting the edge inside the 10. It'll be first and goal Red Wolves. FIU foul. Rolling out, Hatcher in zone, touchdown! That's Bayless with another one, his 17th of the season. Defensive lineman for the Redskins. So you see where he gets that size from. Maxwell has to get to the 45 and he's nowhere close. Met immediately by William Bradley King and Darian Jackson, it's fourth down. Under Coach Drinkwitz. Hatcher from the 10, hands it to Murray. And Marcel gets the edge, and he's past the 20-yard line. More than one injury to more than one ankle. He's out there hobbled on both. Hatcher tried to force it in there to Jonathan Adams, and a flag comes in. This is going to give us a chance to say hello to Matt Austin. Defense number four, slot five, automatic first down. Prevented him from coming back to the ball, so really good call. The defense behind it down a distance, it forced him to be second and 10 plus. Into the secondary, a perfect ball to Jonathan Adams. Jordan Dames again in run support on the previous play. Third and eight with FIU blitzing. Murray on the bubble, and Murray's past the chains. It's another Red Wolves first down. Hatcher on a design run. Keep those chains moving. Inside the 30, first down Red Wolves at the 26. But get the Red Wolves on the outside of the red zone. Incomplete again as Hatcher, with a late flag coming in, was looking for his tight end, Reed Tyler. Before the flag hit the turf. Fast interference. As we bring in Matt Austin. Yeah, I'd like to get another look at that. Don't see much in that angle. Well, if the defender is not playing the ball at all, then he really has to keep his hands off. There you see he's looking back, so. As far as pushing the ball downfield, but four passes broken up already. Hatcher, underneath throw, into the end zone, touchdown, Kirk Merritt, there he is. Conversations with the rest of the staff, they had a hard time describing the challenge. Morgan, nice throw on a first down to Austin Maloney. Points, all of them were one score games. This one's a two score going to the second quarter, but the Panthers are having their most effective drive so far. Field for the Panthers. And it's Jones this time, running hard right at the Red Wolves. First and goal, Panthers. It's Maxwell near the goal line. No signal from the touchdown. Napoleon Maxwell as they clear the bodies. Start completing passes. A perfect five for five, and as we mentioned, a couple nice runs. He was on a second and 10 stepping up and one of his best plays on a first or a second down. Screen and Kirk Merritt in the middle of the three at the bottom. Surveying the whole field and will take off and Lane was able to dodge a couple of tackles and get brought down at the 45. It's a pickup of nine. There. Ready the 15th first down for A-State here in this first half. Underneath the safety valve to Merritt, and Kirk is inside the 40. 
and he is down, marked inside the 35. That months forced into action. They've got that deflection. Third and seven now for Hatcher. Hatcher runs, but this time will be stopped short of the first down as he's tackled at the 28 by Dames. It's a good snap, a good hold. And Groupie's kick is straight through. Another scoring drive by the Panthers. It was Jones for five on the first play. Morgan wants to take a shot. He's got a wide open receiver inside the 35 yard line. Morgan and the Panthers are two of five on third down. Takes the deep shot, one on one. And a flag comes in as it was caught inside the one by Maloney. That football. Yeah, if anything, you're looking for perhaps a PI. Number six. Third and two. Fake to Jones. Throwing behind his big tight end, Camarion Williams, was Morgan there from 25 yards out. And Borregalis makes it a one score game with 532 tonight. There's seven of 10 on third down. Hatcher. This one, a diving catch is made. Catch that he makes over the middle. Hatcher has thrown the deep ball a couple of times tonight. This time it pays off. Bayless makes this grab inside the 20 yard line. After Stanley Thomas Oliver again, we mentioned it. They're not going to let up. It doesn't matter. He just wanted to set up the play they're most comfortable in, which is a third down. And this one's thrown too high, though. Sophomore from Missouri. And Groupie is once again. Hatcher has time to throw down the field. And it is caught inside the 35 yard line by Shamar Thornton. Talked about Austin Maloney. It has been a quiet night so far by Shamar Thornton. Red Wolf showing pressure. Morgan, middle of the field, open first down catch by Thornton. And Shamar is inside the 15. Morgan, middle of the field, and it's deflected and batted down. Field goal is another 25 yarder from Bora Gallus. The leading scorer in FIU history. On the earlier downs, he wasn't. But when it mattered the most, he was able to get the conversions. And on this one, it's ahead past the 35-yard line. Got one safety deep. He's cheated to the Bayless side of the formation. So Murray in the bubble has the first down inside the 50 and gives it into FIU territory down to the 45. Next to Hatcher, Jones and Murray, the two tailbacks used tonight, and Jones gets free into the FIU secondary and inside the 30. Methodical. Hatcher will take a shot, open wide open in the end zone is Reed Tyler. Touchdown, Red Wolves. By this Panther offense. So Morgan now standing tall in the pocket, wide open, middle of the field, past the 40 to Shamar Thornton. We're predicting that on January the 13th. Here's a third and 11 for Morgan. Got to move the chains, and he does again. A strike thrown to Maloney. And it's Jones with a first down run inside the 30. And it's Jones barreling his way right into FIU offensive lineman, but he's going to be marked about a half a yard shy. They have been turned away with scoring opportunities. The field goal attempts are going to extend this drive here on a fourth down. And it's Jones again right at that defense, but it looks like he's going to be marked shy. Of Second and ten. Looking around and facing a lot of pressure is Lane Hatcher. Stanley Thomas Oliver comes in there to get the hit on the quarterback. And they're going to say that ball belongs to FIU. The, the fumble, let's take another look. It was a well-timed blitz. Neither one of these defenses bring a lot of pressure. Does Hatcher throw an empty hand? Yes. Morgan. End zone, touchdown! 
A strike to Austin Maloney. That's and they just keep on churning out championship bids at North Dakota State. And a deep shot taken and gotten by FIU. It's Maloney again. Who's Morgan on a third and eight. Drifting back and back. And oh, he had Maloney. Eight for Jose Borregales. Trying to make this a four point game. And Borregales fires that one straight through. Which to go, but a bold move right there if you come up short. Hatcher. A one-on-one -on -one ball, throwing the rainmaker, and it's picked off. Rashard Dame Five down, Offense and it is. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is the interception. Now for FIU. And this is Maxwell, and Maxwell gets free past the 50. Slowed up inside the 40. Five. Morgan. Middle of the field, throws at the feet. There's good footing on the field. And from 52, Borigalis with plenty of leg to spare. I think he picks up the first down as he circles around on that route. Got it the last time. This is a fourth and two. Hatcher in trouble. Somehow spins out of it. Incomplete. And down only one. Morgan, quick throw. Maloney, what a night he's had. Inside the 45 yard line. Minutes to go. Maloney drifting back and he's got it. It's inside the 20 as Morgan finds him again. Falls to Maloney. Third and seven. Under pressure. Morgan gets it away and throws it away. And give FIU their first lead, but he missed it. He hooked it left. The defense for FIU getting the ball back for their offense. Stepping into that one in a perfect strike. It's Hatcher, and it's Bayless off to the races. There is a flag down, but Omar's going to take the defender all the way inside the 10. Personal foul, blindside block. Offense, number 81, 15 from the bottom. Yeah, that is a big call in the getting a 65-yard play. And on the next play, it's Bayless getting behind the defense again. There are more flags on the field with Omar inside the 15 down to the 12. And now the Red Wolves are inside the FIU 15. Hatcher in zone. Strike sliding in as Adams. Touchdown. Morgan. Overthrows and intercepted. A flag does come in, but it's picked off by Jeremy Smith. Continues to come down and ball handling and ball security paramount. Murray on a third and five, and he's going to be short. Tackled at the 36 yard line. Screen Austin Maloney and Jeremy Smith, who got that interception earlier. Morgan off his back foot, and it's picked off. That'll do it as it's Darian Jackson for Arkansas State. Prized his team by showing up for the UNLV game just a couple of weeks after Wendy passed away. And each and every member of that team, including Omar Bayless, comes over and gives Blake a hug as his Red Wolves knock off FIU 34 to 26 to win the sixth edition of the Camellia Bowl. You see his quarterback celebrating with his teammates. He's the head coach of Arkansas State. A heck of a leader. A remarkable season. They had to battle through a lot on the field. And more importantly, even off the field. And you could see the emotions that have poured out, not only of that man, but of his players as well.